Hampton County investigation with ties to a Carlton County double homicide. We've been telling you this week about the death of 19 year old Stephen Smith. His body was found in Hampton County in 2015. SLED is now investigating his death after information was found in the double homicide of Paul and Maggie Murdaugh in Carlton County. They were found dead earlier this month. Now we received more than 100 pages of investigatory documents today related to the Smith investigation. Our Tara Jabor read through every single page, found some differences of opinions from experts. Tara, there seemed to be a discrepancy in the investigation of how Stephen Smith died. Hey Dean, that's right. Experts seem to be at odds over the cause and after talking to his mom Sandra yesterday, we wanted to take a closer look at what exactly happened the night that Stephen died. Stacks of documents released to us show a flurry of back and forth in the investigation into Stephen Smith's death. We now know Highway Patrol found Smith's body on Sandy Run Road. What troopers didn't see was any evidence to show Smith had been hit by a car. Documents reveal no vehicle debris and no skid marks. An initial report only pointed to blunt force trauma to the head. They said he was shot in the head. And then it turned out it was a hit and run and then he was beat up and so the story just kept changing over and over. Documents also mapped out where Smith's car was found. That was three miles away from his body on Bamberg Highway. Highway Patrol found the keys in Smith's pocket, further adding to the mystery for Smith's family. I'd be happy to see all this, you know, laid out on the table, you know, finding out who did it, you know, why they did it. Highway Patrol also sought more information after Smith's preliminary autopsy suggested that Smith was hit by a vehicle. An MUSC pathologist stated the victim was possibly struck by a motor vehicle mirror, which was the cause of death. Highway Patrol says there was no evidence to support that conclusion. Almost a month after this conversation in 2015, investigator Proctor spoke to the coroner about the final autopsy. In the report, Proctor said, quote, he faxed me a copy of the report and told me that he does not agree with the pathologist, stating the victim was struck by a motor vehicle, end quote. Now, also in these documents, it says, quote, the coroner stated he had made contact with an MUSC pathologist who said she would be willing to change her report to read however the coroner wanted it, end quote. Dean, another detail in all this is that microscopic evidence collected from Smith's clothes did show blue paint chips. Highway Patrol couldn't link it to a vehicle or an object. As of now, a sled office in the Midlands is once again investigating Smith's death.